All right, it's five o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna try to pull out of here at 5.30. We wanna try to get to, uh, we're gonna try to get to this drop before three, before they close. I went ahead and trusted the APU last night to keep the truck running or to keep the batteries charged uh, while the AC was running. Let's see what happens. Do a startup check. Same 13.6 volts. Oh, she fired right up. Ugh. All right. That's that. I guess we gotta go to work. All right, guys. All right, it is now 2:30. This, uh, this load wasn't supposed to drop till Thursday. But, they wanted us to make a uh, 24 hour, uh, twenty-four hour appointment. Um, the Raycon says they close at five, and I'm like, call them up and tell them we might be able to make it tomorrow if they'll take us. And then, uh, second gate? Yeah. And they're like, well, we stop, we stop at three. And I did some math and I'm like, I think we can do this, but I'm not sure. So since we can drop this today, I forgot to tell you guys, we got a load for tomorrow picking up at an auction 50 miles from here. It's a uh, it's a small little dump truck with a uh, snow plow on it. Now the uh, let me show you guys what we're looking at. The snow plow is he told me it was 10 feet wide, but we get the Raycon and it says 11 feet wide. But they said we can take the blade off and then they'll set the blade either in the in the back of the truck in the dump bed or they can stick it on my top deck, whatever. I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm cool with that. So, and that'll be taking us to um, somewhere in North Carolina, kind of like right right close to uh, Atlanta. And I think from there, we're either gonna deadhead home or we're gonna find a load home because uh, we gotta get this fuel pump swapped out and um, some other things I'll talk to you guys about here before I forget what I'm doing and driving a hole. Where do they want me to go to? That excavator? Said straight back. Go straight back. Excavator's broken. Sorry, bro. We can't unload you. There's a porta potty right there. lube machine are they lubing it and fueling it I think it's like brand new it still has the plastic on the seat I wonder if he's the one that we need to talk to uh you have me my hard hat I'll, I'll talk to him oh, that's not your no. all right they told us to pull back here but I don't see anybody to talk to I thought it'd be this excavator guy but he's just in charge of fueling and lubing the machines up and all. Guy on a golf cart pulling up, maybe he'll talk to me. Um, you should have noticed. I thought this was going to be a solar farm, but it looks like it's going to be one of them big power uh, stations. 
right there. And they've got lots of these rolls. Um, anyways, a subscriber reached out to me too and said um, he might have some parts for the APU, but I think he just texted me. Anyways, um, to make to make the timing here, you know, I'll hold that thought. My goodness, I had to pee so bad. Yeah, it was like I couldn't stop. And I only got his like medium cost. All right, all unloaded. Anyways, holy smokes. What I was trying to say is. What you doing? So we got another, we got that load to pick up. We had a subscriber reach out to us. Go. Saying he might have a part for the APU. Go. That doesn't look like that's gonna happen. And then uh, this load takes us down by Atlanta. Which is a good thing. Go. We got to do the fuel pump. And I noticed today because we were trying to push here so so hard, like I was having the hardest time hitting 70 mile an hour. I'm like, what's going on? And then I start paying attention, and we're not making full boost. We're back to only making nine pounds of boost again. Now, it was the. Uh, I just had a bug fly in my mouth. It was the um, boost sensors before. And um, when I bought those, I bought the cheapest ones I could find. Now they're all probably the, probably the same to be completely honest. Where's this guy going? They're all probably the same to be honest, but I told myself, you know, I don't care if these things only last a week. As long as it lets me know that it's the boost sensors. Well, it ended up being the boost sensors, as you guys know. So, now I gotta get new boost sensors. I'll probably buy a little bit better boost sensor. I think those things were only like $10 a piece. That or I just buy some. I just buy the cheap ones and I keep a couple extra on the truck. Like, what's going on with all this crap I'm buying that just ends up going bad later on? Wild. So we might just have to deadhead from 
like Atlanta home if we can't find anything. I mean, this thing is like, this thing's kind of a dog. Um, trying to go up this, this, this littlest hill. I didn't really notice it because I don't drive the speed limit anyways. And I just kind of been moseying along, taking my time. And it wasn't until it was like, you guys gotta be here by three or you gotta wait till the next day. And I mean, looking back on it now, now that it doesn't look like it's we're gonna be able to make it by Bruce's, um, I would've just taken my time, we would've dropped this in the morning. That's all right, it's okay, I understand. Stuff happens. So now we have to go where? Where are we headed, woman? Woman? Okay, but what city are we headed to? Glencoe. Glencoe? Okay, Garmin. Glencoe, Minnesota. I need, I need to see if we need the 30 minute break. Uh, what? Okay, Garmin. Glencoe, Minnesota. Try to pull up Glencoe Manor, Minnesota. When did I say Manor? Which result would you like? Uh, this one. Yeah. It says it's 40, 45 miles away. Please drive to highlighted route. Uh, we should probably sit here and wait. Wait for this 30 minute break. Let me see what, how, how long we've been here. This thing is running so slow. I updated this thing. Yeah, we just need eight more minutes. I just did an update on this thing and now it's like so freaking slow, it's crazy. Yeah, so I don't know, I need to text Bruce back and tell him it's probably not gonna work out. You wanna read that and tell me what you think of that? I, I think I'm reading it right. All right, we'll see you in Glencoe or uh, wherever, wherever we stop. Stop by pilot, got a shower, and we uh I don't know if that's the air conditioner draining or what. Here, hold her. Yeah. Yeah, that's the that's her. Man, it's weird that it just all of a sudden started pouring out, huh? Yeah, let's start walking up. Uh, so we stopped by a pilot. Um, do you know where that was? 
I don't know where it was. We stopped by Pilot, got a shower. Uh, we were like, okay, we'll just stay here. At first, we, we thought we'd move down a little closer, and then we were like, ah, oh, let's just stay here. And then we got to looking, and you could barely tell that we were in a reserve spot. The uh, shower was $17. So I was afraid what the reserve spot would be. The trees are starting to change colors. The fleet is freaking out. It's so pretty up through here. Man, Wisconsin and Minnesota and all. Absolutely gorgeous. Anyways, we are in uh, Dassel now. Um, there's some roads that are closed. And this kind of took us through a detour. And uh, lead us seeing that there was a little rest area. Kind of out in the middle of nowhere. It's supposed to be a path that leads you all the way up to the top of this hill. We're going to go ahead and take the dogs for a walk and go up there. But, uh, yeah, this is where we're going to shut it down. Let me lock the door, Babs. You just never know. All right. We'll see you guys at the uh, top of the hill. Come on, Peppa. Look, there's just... Oh, there's wooden steps that we were supposed to go around and then come up, I guess. Hey, where are you going, back up? This way, Cobbutt. Wow, that's really pretty up here. Look how far you can see. Wow. That is amazing. See if this bad girl's gonna start, guys. Let's see what voltage we got. I guess that's the biggest thing. Ugh. 13 volts. This thing, plenty of juice. Still not crazy about trusting this APU, but I don't wanna idle the truck. Oh, now it says 13.5 volts. 13.3 volts. said it's uh, 10 foot 2. Our deck is 3 foot 4 inches. It kind of sits on level. The way I have the bags, the back is a little higher. I think it's like 3, 6 in the back and it's like 3, 3 in the front. But the broker said it's 10 foot 2. And then I try to look up, it's a 2003 Sterling. Uh, with a dump bed and one website said it's 10.7 but I mean looking at the pictures it can't be any higher than a day cab and we haul day cabs all the time so I guess the first thing we need to do when we get there is, is measure that thing um, no you can hand me the deodorant um And then, I've never removed a snow plow, but hopefully it's pretty straightforward. If, if, if it still has the name on the blade, then there's probably a website showing you how to do it or a YouTube video or something. Pretty big snow blade. It's the ones that curl. It curls so it rolls the snow. It's not just like one of those flat pushing blades. Do you need this? No, I already used it. I don't know. This place was 
spooky last night. <laughs> we were the only ones here. You didn't think it was spooky? Nah. Lies. Lies. No, the Upper Peninsula place was spooky. Oh, you thought the spot that we walked up to was spooky? I said the Upper Peninsula place in Michigan was Oh, spooky. oh. She's talking about uh, when we parked alongside the road in Michigan. And they had the uh, rest area closed for whatever reason. Seasonal. Probably. Seasonal, but it wasn't even winter time or anything. Like, I guess we'll see you at this auction. Fingers crossed. Turn left on Ninth Street East. Send me this. Oh. Yeah. This is fucked. We've made it to the auction. Um, normally you pull back through this gate. Well, you gotta go get your paperwork from the office first. I didn't know that. It just says check in here. Um, but normally you pull back through here, but she says they're really full back here, so. We're gonna go walk it. I don't wanna, she's like, don't get yourself in an area you can't back out of. I'm like, you don't have to tell me twice. I'll walk this whole thing if I have to. So we'll go find out where this truck is. Let me go grab my tape measure too. So we I can just, no, I didn't. All right, we found it. It was right in the gate. Uh, doesn't look like this uh, plow is gonna be too big of a deal to um, take off. It looks like there's just some quick pins that we have to remove and then this whole blade will just fall off and they'll load that up with a forklift and then we'll just be left with this but i want to check and see how tall this thing is before we get too crazy Tried to twist the bucket as much as it, as it would twist, and it does not twist enough to make it not overdimensional. It still kind of sticks out a little bit. If these little blocks weren't here, 
they should have made these blocks like removable. They look like they had a bathroom in there. Oh, it's a super nice place. There's probably a bathroom in there you can use. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go get some tools. And uh, that's great. It's only, what'd I say, nine, nine? Heck yeah. Let's get this stuff removed. Um, we would have to back up onto those metal things. Yeah, and with this truck being in the way, uh, this, this truck here would have to move and then I could, then I could back it up. But is it, is it worth it? You think, or you think we should just throw our ramps? <laughs> Lita does not like using the ramps. On a side note, the weather is amazing. It is absolutely amazing out here. There are so many nice little towns driving through here too. It's awesome. Bunch of T680s for sale, baby. See if they got APUs. No, why do, oh wait, yeah it does. It might be a battery powered APU. I was gonna say, man, why are companies so cheap to like put something on here for the drivers? And then a lot of these trucks will like shut off if the temperature isn't below something or above something. It's like, take care of your drivers, man. You're at home sleeping in, in a warm house or in a cool house and you expect these drivers to be away from the house and sleep in a hot or a cold truck. And then they, they try to give you incentives like, oh, if, if you can keep your fuel down below this each month, we'll give you a bonus. Nah, thanks. I won't, I won't take your bonus. All right. I got to grab some tools and uh, we're going to go take a snow plow off, girls. All right. So I'm hoping all I really need is a hammer and a pair of pliers. We can tap those roll pins out and drop that blade. Um, I don't know if we're going to use the loading dock or not. kind of looks like it's kind of going to be a nightmare to get to. I don't know. We'll see. They said they'll move some trucks around for us if, if we need it. And then uh, we have to back up on these metal ramps. So, I don't know. We'll see. Some uh, white lithium grease, and I forgot I had some punches on the uh, on the truck. So hopefully, between all of this, all right. So we got the. So we got this one out and we we're working on this one and that one and they rolled up and they said we have the wrong truck this isn't our truck you gonna grab these tools bebs our truck looks exactly like this truck and it's over here i had no idea they, this i mean i don't even know if they gave us a vin number for this did they no. well this is our truck is this truck any taller than the other? I mean, it looks like the same exact truck, huh? Uh, I just soaked all those things down and let them sit. Maybe it's a blessing. Maybe these will come out easier. <laughs> Some good old white lithium. Oh, there's some Max. Oh, you want a Mac uh, snowplow? No. 
Yeah, soak it in, baby. Soak it in. Oh, I'm glad they caught us before. <laughs> before we remove the plow. Uh, I think it's the same height. This should be the same height. Only thing I see different is this exhaust pipe sticks up a little bit on this side. But we'll measure it anyways. so simple i'm glad it wasn't that other truck because i was struggling with one of those pins now lead is going to pick all these pins up i need to what do you want to do do you want to use the dock or the ramps the dock, the dock looks like it's a pain in the, in the butt all right well let me figure out what we're going to do here And uh, oh look, they're holding their gas tank on with a chain. Yeah. All right. I don't know what to do here. I mean, the dock would make it super simple, but it's also blindside backing in here too to hit that. Unless I get them to move that truck. Uh, and then I have to get out of here somehow too. If I, if I use that, I have to get back out of here somehow too. And there's no room to turn around in here. So we might just throw these ramps. That might be easiest to just throw these ramps. Just not big enough back here, man, just to spin anything around. Unless, I mean, that's a pretty big curb. It's got a drive over too. Look at the curb. Oh, they got some wood on that side. I could pull up and then back the trailer into here and then pull out. Or I could pull up and just back all the way out of here. All right, we're gonna try to this dock. They're gonna move this white truck for me and uh, we'll just have to back out of here. Hey, right, I'm gonna get them to move this truck and I'm gonna back to this dock. Yeah, yeah. you gonna go get all those pins up? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go grab the truck.
we got her on there. We still got to get the blade on there. This, uh, man, if they wouldn't have had all this stuff in the way, this is kind of a nightmare. They had to move one truck, and then this is in the way. They got that in the way. Now what we'll do is we'll move these tarps all the way up, Ebs, and then we'll set the blade. And if we have to put one of our load levelers here, we'll put one of our load levelers here, and we'll set it on top of that. Oh, we could do that too. Yeah, yeah, we can move them down. I wasn't even thinking. But yeah, let's let's move them down. Man, this thing's brakes hardly work. Hardly work. Take a look here. See how straight we got her on. Uh, this back end is over a little bit. This back end is over this way a little bit. You see that? This back end is over this way a little bit. So I think I'm gonna have to pull up, straighten up, and then back up again. All right, much better. It is scary driving something like this when the brakes don't work that great. <laughs> Lee just having a good time. <laughs> she hates switch vehicles on this thing. <laughs> All right, there it is. It is, uh, it's chained down. We just finishing up with those straps on the plow. I need to remember to move those wheel chucks out of my way. It's a little windy, I apologize. I think, um, I think Twin Express went out of business, man. That's all I see out here is all their trucks and trailers. It's one thing to upgrade your trucks. It's another thing to just sell your entire fleet. I'll have to check into that, see if they went out of business. All right, we are loaded up. Lita's grabbing the uh, the title to this thing. And we will be on our way. Ah, I thought the battery door was on this other side. I must have flipped it this way when I plug it in. <laughs> Still trying to learn this thing, man. <laughs> oh, all right. So, oh, that's Lita calling. What's up, baby? Oh, okay. I'll let them know. Yeah, yeah. I'll just, I'll just let them know right now. No. See what we would uh, take to find an alternative route to avoid tolls. I gotta write the well out. Okay. Should we measure it one more time? I think it'll be all right. Cause it was it was ten feet. You worried about it now that it's on the trail? I mean, it just looks it looks. Which I mean, the the day caps look massive too. You know. Oh, so this is trying to take us down through Chicago and all. Oh, is this going to... No, this isn't going to take us by Grandma's. It's just not going to work out, Grandma. This... I thought it was like a rest area, rest area. The building's probably over here. There's a building right there, dude. So you may try to park right no, here? you can park right here. That's why everybody's parked over there. Come on. All right, we made it to uh, Milton, Wisconsin. We are at a, uh, supposed to be a pretty big rest area here. Um, we, I don't think we made it very far today, huh? No. 
It doesn't feel like we made it very far. We're still in Wisconsin. There's a little dog up here. Um, we still have two and a half hours on the clock, but that two and a half hours would put us right in Chicago. And uh, nobody wants to do that. So we're gonna shut it down here in Milton and then we'll get up in the morning. I was hoping we could make this uh, Friday drop, but uh, with us getting, I don't know. I don't know where our time went, honestly. Just a lot of construction, a lot of traffic. When we stopped at the truck stop. What truck stop? The TA. We sat there for a little bit. Yeah, but that was our 30 minute. Oh, okay. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that was our 30 minute I mean, break I feel that we like didn't do anyways. It took anyways. us a while to load the truck, too. Yeah, you we think had so? To mess around with the plow. Yeah. Yeah, but that wasn't against our clock. Well, yeah, I mean, not really. You guys see that little doggy? Huh? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. This is where we are. Hey. I feel like I'm getting sick. I hope I'm not. I feel like I'm getting a little bit of a of a head cold. Don't be a jerk, Maggie. I feel like I'm getting a little bit of a head cold. Anyways, we're gonna walk up here. Walk these dogs. Let. Lita use the potty. I'll use the potty. Oh, we stopped at a uh, TA in, uh, where was that? Hamilton? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Hudson. Hudson, Wisconsin. Yeah. Um, and Lita found a little taco place over there. So she got me some street tacos. Adave to go. Adave to go? Adave to go is what it's called. Oh, absolutely good. Good stuff. So I ate three of them. She got me five of them. I ate three of them and um, saved two for dinner, so. Quick look at these uh, street style tacos we got Lita picked up from that place before I devour these things. What's nice is they give you the two they give you two shells so that it doesn't fall apart super easy. Yeah, they got this really They got this sauce that's pretty good too. Yeah, this is uh I'm gonna eat this. Take some NyQuil. And I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to bed. Like Joe Biden said. It's bedtime, I'm going to bed. What do he say? I can't remember. Here's the clip. But I tell you what, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to bed. All right, we're going to bed. I'm going to bed. I'm gonna eat some tacos. And then take some night clip. <laughs> go to bed. Well, surprise, surprise, broke down again. The truck won't accelerate. It feels like it's skipping really bad. I'm done with this truck. I'm done with it. 